Hi, welcome back. So uh, this morning what we're going to do is we're going to look at the Excel object uh, so that we can integrate Excel calculations along with those calculations at, uh, in MathCAD. Uh, it's been around for a couple iterations uh, or a couple of the versions, not too, too long. Um, and depending on how comfortable you are in MathCAD or not, you may or may, you know, there, you may or may not have great reason uh, to integrate uh, Excel spreadsheets in it. Uh, the one reason that I can think of, there's, there's really two reasons. One is the inclusion of data and uh, put up a separate video on how to use the read Excel function to bring data into uh, MathCAD. That's probably the easiest way just to bring data in. Uh, and the other one is maybe you have some complex calculations. They're already done. You spent a lot of time building a spreadsheet and you don't want to recreate them in the MathCAD uh, environment. Uh, but at the same time, you want to integrate those calculations into uh, you know, uh, MathCAD uh, calculations that you're creating. Uh, and in which case, the, the MathCAD uh, object is exactly what you need. So uh, we're setting up a, a simple problem here. Really, it's just an investment problem. We're looking at future values of a compounding interest investment. Uh, and uh, the problem is laid out there. Uh, but, you know, I mean, the problem's really not the issue. What we want to do is to do the calculations with it. So I'm going to bash ahead with that. So the first thing is, is defining the variables. Now I've gone ahead and drawn from the problem sheet itself what those variables are. And I've defined them here. So we have a principal of $1,000. We have a, an annual interest rate of uh, 5%. Uh, the number of years of the investment is 25 years. And the number of compounding periods, uh, M, uh, is equal to 1. So it's only compounding once a year. It's not monthly or anything like that. Uh, and then we can calculate the effective uh, interest rate, annual interest rate, by uh, per period of R equals I annual over M. Uh, which won't really play in this because we have uh, m equals 1. So let me just scroll down a little bit. We're going to bring that up. And the first thing I want to do is I'm going to calculate what the future value is at the end. So at the end of the amortization period, at the end of 25 years, how much money uh, will I have? So that's fairly easy to do. So we're going to look for the future value at the end of our period. Uh, we set it equal to our principal, which is then multiplied by one plus our rate of interest and everything here is raised to T out and we hit equals and we see we get the, oh look at math formatting. Here's an example where the math formatting may not make sense for you. I want a decimal number, there we go. And so we get $3,386.35, which is what you would have at the end of the 25 year period from your $1,000 investment. Now, let's just assume for some reason you want to see that growth over the time period. So maybe you can time when you withdraw your investment or, or whatnot. And so you already have this done up in Excel. You, you For similar type uh, calculations, you've done it up in Excel. For whatever reason, you decide you want to keep it you know, tight in your uh, MathCAD sheet. And so we're going to use the Excel object to bring in and use that, uh, those calculations and then export them back into um, here. So uh, one of the things I'm going to do, this gets a little cumbersome looking at the page view. So I'm going to separate that out or split that out. And I'm going to scroll up. There we go. Okay, so we're going to use the Excel object. I've got some space for it. And so Put my thing here i'm going to go to the input output tab and i'm going to choose the excel component insert excel component and so it does that right here now remember the assumption was is that the reason why i'm using my excel component is because i already have the calculations in a spreadsheet i'm not going to you know uh, i'm not going to do that here and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open up my other spreadsheet and copy and paste the component of it into this uh, in, uh, instance uh, of the spreadsheet. So there we go. Uh, it opened off screen. So I'm just going to drag it over here uh, so you can see it. Um, so I have a spreadsheet. It already does the calculation that we're uh, interested in. Uh, so I'm going to copy it and paste it in. First thing I want to do is just to show you. So I, this happens to have the same values uh, in it uh, that we had before, which might confuse you. So let's change uh, some of these things up uh, so that we can get the, the right thing out. So we're just going to highlight the area that we want to copy in. We're going to go Control C uh, and then 
going to pop over back to you to MathCAD. I'm going to double click into this Excel object, go up to one, hit control V, and now we have our spreadsheet in there. And I'm just going to close that for now. So if we drag this down, we're going to see it's going to slowly extend the spreadsheet object so that we can see everything there. I'll just get it down to what we need. Ah, there we go. And of course we can play with our zoom here so we can see the whole thing at once if we want to. And we're ready to play. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use these inputs because what we have to do is we have to take the variables and the values of variables in MathCAD and we need to transfer them over to the Excel object so that Excel will update its spreadsheet to use those variables. And so the component that we use is insert input expression. So when we're down here, if we go up here, you'll notice it's no longer grayed out. We can choose insert input expression and you get this. So basically what it says is Excel and it gives a uh, range within the Excel sheet. And so you have to control this. So sheet one and, you know, so we want, um, instead of J30, we want 31. What we want this to be is B1 is where the P value is, right? And so if I just get in here, B1, and we set that equal to a value for principal. So look what happens when I click out of this and it will take on the value uh, of P, which is defined earlier in our MathCAD sheet. And so we have to go through and we have to do that for the rest of the variables that are gonna matter to us. So again, input expression. Uh, so what do we want? In this case, we want uh, B2 to be their period. So B2 and what's our period called is T. And that now takes on the value of 25. And we want I to take on our interest rate or I annual. So let's do that here. Input expression. And so that's A, B, C, D, E. If you don't know, you just double click into it and it'll open it up completely and you can see the labels. Uh, but that's E1 and that's going to be I uh, annual. And it takes on that value. Now, when it takes on the value, of course, what Excel naturally goes and updates the spreadsheet for all of the other values. Uh, that are calculated in the spreadsheet. So now we've passed these values to the spreadsheet. We see them updated here. The calculations update themselves automatically. And we now have values for our future value for each year along the way. So now, typically, you wouldn't leave them there. You want to bring them back out of the spreadsheet. So what we need to do is to have an output uh, variable, which is going to allow us to assign that data values, if you will, in, in the spreadsheet to an array uh, all back in our MathCAD sheet. And so we go down to the output section and we're just going to say F in this case, uh, we're going to create an array of future values and we're going to set it equal to, uh, sorry, just Excel component, output Excel component. So we want to assign it to something. So in this case, we're going to have an array called F for future values, uh, Excel. And in this case, what we want to do is we want to choose the entire range uh, from here, the 1050 down to 3385. Now, I happen to know that's, that's D6 to D30. If I wasn't sure, I could double click in here uh, what you didn't see is Excel opened off camera. So let me just bring that in. And so we're interested in uh, this period here, which is D6 to D30. Okay. So D6. To D30. So now what I want to do is to use that 
in my uh, MathCAD calculation. And so the easiest way for me to do that in this case is I'm just going to open up some space. I'm going to graph the value of the investment by year. And so to do that, I'm going to set up a range variable from 1 uh, to 25, increments of 1, and then I'm going to insert a plot. Uh, so where are we? Plots, insert a plot. Let me scroll up here a little bit. X, Y plot, there we go. So we'll just set that there. We'll plot the background to transparent. And of course, what we want is N uh, along the bottom and F at N along the right. And let's strap that out. And so we can see that we're able to use the data that we generated in Excel uh, back in our MathCAD sheet, which is really the purpose of that. And so what we did is we started with a, some MathCAD calculations. We passed the, the output of those calculations to Excel. We used an existing uh, Excel spreadsheet to do something with those calculations and then pass the results of the Excel calculations back out, back into MathCAD, where we're able to use it as an array and plot it. So that's really the Excel object. Now, like I say, where you might use it is entirely up to you and your background and what kind of a library of Excel calculations you have and why you might want to integrate those uh, into uh, Excel. Uh, certainly, I'm not going to pretend that you couldn't have done this calculation uh, completely in MathCAD. If I were to pop open over to this other sheet, we can see that's exactly what I've done here. <laughs> it's as simple as using a range variable, uh, doing up successive calculations using that range variable, and we can go ahead and graph it, and we see that graph here. Uh, so, um, in this case, maybe my example wasn't so good, good, but you get to see how the Excel object works. So hopefully that's useful to you. Uh, clearly you're watching the video because you have a need. Uh, so uh, good luck with that and uh, we'll see you on the next video.